as I'm sure most of you know, um, Donald Trump got a positive test result for COVID-19 and then he ignored it and he went to a fundraiser where he didn't wear a mask, but he stood eight feet away from people while he was taking pictures with them. And he never told anyone that he got COVID-19 until he got a second positive test result. And um, that made me think of this guy in Japan who went to a bar and started buying people drinks and he was like, hey, you guys are my best friends, blah, blah, blah. And then it, he, at the end of the night, he was like, oh, by the way, I have COVID-19 and you guys should all get tested. And um, when that happened, I thought <coughs> that guy should be charged with attempted murder because he should be. And um, when I hear about Donald Trump going to this fundraiser, I think he should probably get charged with attempted murder because here's the thing. Um, he knew he was infected. He knows it's an airborne virus. He didn't wear a mask. He knows that if the virus goes into the air, that it can stay airborne for two hours. And he goes, well, I'm socially distancing from someone who's eight feet away from me. Well, when you put the virus in the air and it stays there for two hours and then you move and then they move to where you are, do they have an opportunity to inhale the virus? Obviously they do. So um, logically, when you talk about how you're socially distancing, I'm thinking, well, how can you socially distance indoors? That doesn't make any sense because of the nature of the virus, which is it can stay airborne for two hours. So Donald Trump very clearly is the type of person that doesn't care about other people's health. He will risk people's lives so that he can get some more money that's going to result in something he doesn't see, which is his television ads annoying the shit out of people. I'm not seeing them, but I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty sure that's, that's what Donald Trump is trying to do is get money for more television ads. And so, um, like, should he be charged with attempted murder? I think he should. So, um, Everyone is going, oh my gosh, well, what if I got COVID-19 and I didn't and I didn't have a way to leave my house? What would I do then? And what I tell you is, if, if I'm elected president, I will put together a group of people called the COVID helpers. Dog! And I will um, put together a website where you can figure out everything you need to know and you there's a phone you can phone number you can call and you can say hey I need groceries hey I need this I can't leave my house I have COVID-19 and then what they'll do is they'll leave the stuff on their on your front porch and they'll find a way for you to pay and we'll and if you don't have a way to pay we'll figure out a way to make sure you're fed and so like we can make a lot of jobs possible by helping stop COVID-19 I have talked about how um, I want to shut down all the churches and use the churches as quarantine centers, but um, quarantine centers can be for more than infected people. Quarantine centers can be for someone like Claudia Conway, who lived with someone who got infected, or she lived with someone who might have got infected. So because maybe Claudia needed to go somewhere, and it, it, she need, and she could go to a church, which is kind of like a homeless shelter, but it doesn't feel like a homeless shelter because it's not normally a homeless shelter. It's just a church right now, and it's the church people trying to be servants because they believe that they should be like Jesus, and if they're like Jesus, they should be a servant for people that might be infected, and they're willing to put their lives at risk, but they're still going to wear masks, and they're going to still socially distance from those people, but it's going to allow those people. It's going to allow people to socially distance. That's why I've said we need to get the church churches to help us, and so. I don't think anybody else wants to do that. I think everyone wants every man for themselves. The churches want to pray together on Sundays and they want to have the pastors be able to preach. And I want to have people sleep in their churches. Like I want to have people like Claudia Conway who um, were who, who might be infected but don't know. I, I want to give them a place where they can not be, live in the same house as their mom who is infected.